Well, overnight, Sir Stephen Lovegrove, who is our UK national security advisor, has given, I think, a pretty dire warning, and one we need to think about and certainly debate. He said that because of a lack of dialogue that is going on in the world between us and potential aggressors, it's a risk of a rapid escalation to strategic conflict. What he means by that is a risk, ultimately, of nuclear war. He makes the point that even during the Cold War, there was a certain understanding between the two sides and lines of communication were open. Now, I don't often praise Joe Biden on this programme, but the fact that Joe Biden has been on the phone today to President Xi of China can only be a good thing. Surely Churchill's mantra of war, war is better than George or must be right. So we don't just face what's going on in the Ukraine. Taiwan is directly under threat from an increasingly militaristic and expansionist Chinese Communist Party. The world is not in a good place. And yet, we barely discuss these things in this country. So my question to you at home tonight is, are we taking defence and security matters seriously enough? Let me know your thoughts, farage at gbnews.uk, because I certainly don't think we are. I've been appalled at the way in which, since 2010, we run down our armed services, we don't discuss vital foreign policy matters, and even what is happening in Ukraine, well, frankly, it seems to me most of the British public are, frankly, bored with it at this moment in time. Perhaps I'm wrong, but that's the impression I've got. And yet we have a contest for who will be the next British Prime Minister. And the first function of government and of a Prime Minister is to protect the nation. Defence is ultimately the number one priority. Unless I've missed something, it's barely being discussed.